Hello. Hey, Karen. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Who else is here? Ready, ready to see my hair? It's bad. It's got to be magical now. <sighs> okay, so real talk. Let's just talk about this hair thing. The thing about these little wash and goes is that the first day, like now, is not going to be perfect. But we are going to try to make. I'm going to try to make it look better than I normally would at this point. Because at this point, I'd be frustrated. So I'm trying to do better and I'm trying to be better in the 2020. I'm trying to hit a new decade with a new, with a new outlook on my hair and everything. Hi, Miss V. I want to have a new outlook on my hair. So let's go back to what she says we should do now. All righty. So, oh, let me not forget. I'm more patient, Lou, for 2020. If you watch this in the replay, make sure you leave a like, a comment. You can leave a thumbs down. I've been getting a lot, quite a few thumbs down lately. More than usual. Salud. Thank you for saying something. I appreciate those. You know, Engagement makes me happy. So this is what she's going to say. Hey, Coco. So basically what she's going to say is, because we're going to go back into Miss Jeanette J. Beauty. I am going to my head forward so that my hair falls in front. And then I'm forward to the next day. And it is almost 1 p.m. And I'm ready to show you how right, my hair looks. Right, right, right. Okay, so now we're on the next day where I'm at right now. Taking the shower caps off, I can already see the definition coming through. And here's how my hair looks overall. Okay, so let's see how my hair looks overall. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not going to look like that. I'm just saying. I have a feeling my hair is not going to look like that. It's going to be the womp womp of womp womps. Okay. All right. Oh, it sort of looks like that. Look at my hair, though. Look at this mess. Do y'all see this mess? Do y'all see this mess right here? Do you, when you shake your head, does it feel like something's going to shake loose in your ears? Because it always does to me. This is what I'm talking about. Do y'all see how much shrinkage my hair has? Do y'all see this? Right. Didn't it tighten up? Okay, so let's look at hers and let's look at mine. I'm going to shake my head just so that the curls aren't jumbled together. And I am going to... Okay, so let me go do the shake. Um, Let me do the shake thing. And hopefully, she does have longer hair. But... Her hair stretches out seriously. Now, I know she does this all the time, but my hair really does tighten up. Because look at these ringlets. Okay. Hi, star. So let me, I'm going to go down and I'm going to shake my head. Hopefully my, my brain won't fall out of my, um, girl, do I not? Hopefully, now let's do this. Hopefully I will shake my head and my head my my brain won't fall out of my ear. So I'll be right back. It's not helping us. Okay. So let's see what we can do about this. First off, it's still wet. It's still wet now. I am looking a little Jerry curlish. I so she's doing all this and her hair's so all perfectly a bit of the gel beautiful. In the front of my where I see that it dried a little bit. So hers are, see her hair probably doesn't curl up as much as mine. Because if you can see, mine are very, very. This definition is on point and I couldn't wait for my hair to dry because these curls are popping. My curls ain't popping. Okay. So, yes, mine are much tighter. 
Let's see, can we stretch them out a little bit while we talk? Let's see, can we stretch these babies out just a little bit? Uh, no, we cannot. Hey, Ash. Yeah, see, my hair is like, and hence why I don't do shit like this. Okay, so um, I don't have that fabulous look right now. My hair is extremely still wet at the moment. I mean, it's like soaking. It's soaking. Yes, we're going to see what happens while we sit here. And I'm going to have them out for the rest of the day. So we will see what happens. I mean, they will, you know, do something by some. But see, see if, if mine were like hers, they would be about right here at least. Mine are like, no, mm -mm. we're going to spring right back. Now, the back of my head is a different story. So I got to see how this is doing back here. Because y'all see, this is like very, um, see how the back is right there? It is very, now that's a little bit straighter and longer in the moment. Yeah, and it's only one little section, this fluff here. Okay, so we're just going to leave it alone now. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to let it dry. And once it dries, then I'll start pulling it out. Because right now it is, um, you know, it's, it's wet. It's, it's extremely wet. But it's moisturized. But it's moisturized, so we're going to, so. <laughs> okay, this is not a good look, y'all. That's why I don't like my hair like this. You know, because my hair, <laughs> in order for me to look right doing this, my hair would have to be brought to my down to like at my breast in order for me to have some length of any sort um because right now and that's why people think my hair isn't as long as it is <laughs> because when i went to go get locked the girl thought my hair she charged me a, a lower price because a she didn't think my hair was as thick as it was and b she didn't know it was as long as it was once she started pulling it out she was like damn your hair is long i'm like yeah the shrink is just real didn't you know that <sighs> Hold on, I got blow my nose. So we're gonna let this stuff dry and we're gonna see how it looks and can I make something happen with it tomorrow. Hey, I look like I'm locking again. But anyway, anyhow, anywho, I have some thoughts about beauty and makeup. I'm bored with it. Not the stuff I have, but I'm just bored with the whole beauty industry makeup stuff. I was looking at Trend Mood today, and I, you know, I tend to look at it, you know, at least once or twice a day. And I was like, whatever. And so I don't want to go into this whole thing like, oh my God, you know, I'm just. You know, um, yeah, the switch to fragrances. And here's why is because, it, it, you know, they're just doing too, they're doing so much that it's like, ugh, whatever. Like there was a time and I thought about it because I was like, okay, the things I want, I I want the melt ones. I really want them. If I can, if they still have them when I got the coins, I'm definitely getting the melt palettes. I want them. I want them. I want them, Right. I wanted the Smashbox stuff. I saw, I was like, oh, I really like that. I think it's cute. I want it. I want it. 
but there's less of that I wanted vibe, which is good for my pocket. Let me say that it's good for my pocket, but it says a lot about what's going on. Cause there was a time when I would be excited. I hear someone's coming out. Now I'm like, okay, whatever. Like for instance, ColourPop, ColourPop, we're going to use ColourPop first. There was a time when I would see ColourPop coming out with stuff and I'd be like, Ooh, what are they coming out with? And even though, you know, even though it's like, um, cool, you know, I like some of the stuff, but they have really burnt me out. I'm just not trying to buy this stuff. Yes. Yes, Carlotta, honey. I've been doing fragrances. Um, and so, so it's like, and like BH Cosmetics. I have not bought BH Cosmetics since around April. And I, and it's because they're putting out so much product. And like once I got the Norvina 1, 2, and 3, it was like a switch kind of turned off on palettes. Don't get me wrong. I got a few palettes coming in right now. But it was like a switch turned off like, oh, okay. I'm kind of feeling like I got some shit here that I could use. Now, and there are a few things that I still want. But I'm just not like like that that feeling like, oh man, a new release is coming. I want it. I want it. And it's gone. And, and it's because they're bringing out so much stuff. You're just bored and tired of it now. You know? I kind of like the butterfly stuff. And let me tell you, I saw some of it in Ulta. And I was like, damn, these damn palettes are cute. But I feel like they are rerunning things to us. I think that they have gotten rid of older palettes to throw some stuff in there. And so I'm still waiting to figure it out. Are they actually doing this to us? Are they playing us for fools? Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to wait on that. So there's where I'm at with them. And just in general, I'm like, eh, okay, yeah, whatever. So I'm not, so what I'm saying is, is that I'm not on no, no buy or low buy because I'm never that person, but I'm kind of on a choosy buy because I'm real choosy about what I'm getting. Right. I'm real choosy about the stuff I'm buying. Yeah. Like brushes. I'm kind of into the brush thing, Coco. Um, of course we know I'm into fragrance. I still am going to be into my, you know, high-end lipstick thing once my coins get in order. Because, I, you know, they, I like the packaging and everything. They're interesting to me when I see some that I like. Like, I still want to get Lisa Eldridge. I saw the guy's holiday brush. It was a fan brush. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay, no. Because there's no, um, because I, I mean, like, a, a fan brush would get barely any use. Okay, now see, there you go. You got your thing, your foundation. I'm kind of off of a, I want some new foundations, but I want to use up some first. So once I feel like I've used up stuff, know what I like, um, then I will go and buy some more because I still want to use buy the Dior one. Um, I still, oh, See, that's my thing, Carlotta. I never do a no buy because the one time I said, oh, I'm going to, I'm on a low buy. I bought more than I ever bought. That's a, that's like a starvation diet to me. And my, my hip brain goes, bitch, you need more. I bought more than I ever bought that month when I said, oh, I'm going to go on a no buy. So I'm more like a choosy buy now, a choosy buy. How were they? And I have gone on there and looked at those. Right, that's a Viva La High Back Girl, right? <laughs> um, I've looked at them and then I was like, eh, I'm okay with that too. I'm not getting that. So I have really been awful now. Here's what I did. You know about the Honey Pot set, which I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did buy that Honey Pot set from Urban Decay. That was a good buy. It was half price. I got that. I like that. I have, right, right, girl. Then I have, um, I finally got the Juicy Olive. So I, hopefully the Juicy Olive will get here soon. I finally ordered the Juicy Olive. So I'm like, 
on greens, I'm good. I mean, I'm really good on greens right now. I mean, I've got a lot of green palettes. Up here. I got a lot of green in here. I'm good on green for now. So, you know, it's, but there's like, that's, like I said, other than the melt ones, the Scott Barnes, nah, Rebecca, no. I've seen them and I was like, eh, they look cute. Eh, they're all right. Eh. Now, the Kaleidos, I can see you one, but I got them all. The Kaleidos does have some highlighters that I still want to buy, but I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush for those either, but I do want the Kaleidos highlighters. I want a couple of those. So that's something on my list. So that is something on my list. I got to make my list. I, I want to actually put out my 2020 list of what I want to get. Um, right now, it's like, so I'm waiting for them damn Pat McGrath. The highlighters do look nice. The um the eyeshadow palettes, I was like, mm. right, because Coco, why you be playing with me? Because you know you better with, with makeup makeup than I am. Um, I so I'm mean, right. So I want the so the juicy olive is on its way. So that was something that I have been wanting and wanting and wanting, and I got it. But <laughs> but it's like the other stuff. I'm like. I mean, just looking at the stuff that was on Trend Mood and on Hot Fire and all them, I was like, <sighs> right? It was like, <sighs> and I, I haven't like, and I honestly haven't been looking at all my indie brands and everything, but I was like, I'm just like, okay, I can take a break for a minute. Now we know that this could only, this might last a month or two. And then all of a sudden I'll come in a month and have like a dozen palettes. I, cause that's why I'm not that person to say, oh my God, I'm going to do this low buy and I am going to give, you know, and I'm only going to buy this much and everything. Cause I know me. Right. Yeah. And I agree, Rebecca, the, the holiday, maybe it's that too. Um, Right. See, there we go. La Vie and Rose. Let's talk. Let's talk. What's Mothership 3? I don't know what these are. You just got to show them to me. And I got to start my payment plan with you after I pay off these goddamn afterpays, Ash. I got fucking afterpays all over the place. I'm almost done with them, though. Um, right. So, it, so you know, it's like, it's like, huh? What am I doing? What am I going to do with it? See, and that don't, and that one don't even do anything for me. A, because I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I could care less about the Star Wars thing. Honestly, I did not see the original Star Wars forever. Ever, 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 ever. I never saw it. I never saw it. And you so, and then Norvina is kind, you know. So I'm like, oh, okay. And yes, the 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 things that were out for the the Christmas collections have been not that great. Um, honestly, like Nars, I usually I'm not gonna buy any more Nars. Um, <laughs> of course, you are gonna buy from the new PMG because it's PMG. You're gonna buy it, Coco. But <laughs> and I didn't buy the new Ace Beauté yet. I don't know. Um, I didn't see it when I was a kid. They went to the show and left me at home. So I didn't buy them yet. I was like, uh, no, I can't wait. I was like, I can wait. So now I probably will get them because we know. And I still haven't got the killer fur. Um, how, tell me about it. Um, the Cleon... I, okay, now I will say I have seen some of those stained glass, and I am a little interested in those. But the pricing right now is out of my range because I got other things I want to do. But the, the Cleonas, um, the problem with me with that is I have to be honest with myself. I don't use my single shadows enough. I got single shadows here. I don't use them enough. So I have to like rotate, and that's what I want to spend. Um, I want to spend more time, like we said, using um, 
using the products that I have. Not to say that I'm not going to get new ones, but I really want to just really use them, see how they feel, because the, most of the stuff is still around. So I'm not, you know, there is a place where, because, you know, when you do YouTube and stuff, um, you know, when you do YouTube, tube, you tend to think in the the new, what's new, what's new, what's new. And what happens is, is that there is so much that's still out here that people actually have bought and might want to talk about or be reminded that they have it. That it's okay not to rush and feel like you got to get the new, new. I ain't a new, new person anyway. We've already established this a while ago. Oh, I'm not a new, new person. But um, yeah, this is. Now, y'all see how my hair looks? This is kind of the way my two-strand twists look. But even more worm-like. This is why I don't do two strand twists because my two strand twists look like this. The back is, the back is, you know, that's what, that different texture here. My back is always that little different nappy. That's my nappy hair. So that's my nappy hair. The back is my nappy hair. My nappy nap snap snaps. Especially right here. You can tell that's my nappy area right there. The nappy nap area. Plus, I need my hair to look cute so I can do, I can't do a glam look. I can't do a face and fragrance with this mess on my head. Because then I, I can't even go on the gram with this. Because this mess... Can't work on the gram. This is not gram hair. This is what's wrong with her hair. She needs to look at a hair tutorial. <laughs> I look like she needs to look, go look at a hair tutorial and learn how to do some with her hair. Right now. This is not gram worthy hair. What's up with that piece of hair right there? It's like, what's up with that? <sighs> So, so those, that's kind of where I am on makeup right now. What's going on? I got this, a piece of hair that's driving me. Oh, I got a piece of hair. I got a piece of hair that did not get done. I got a piece of hair that's straight, so it's driving me insane right now. Right, day, right, day two or three, exactly, Rebecca. Now, by Tuesday, understand, Karen, by Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday, now my hair going to be real cute then. <laughs> and now by the time my hair is cute, it'll be time to wash it again. Now, when my hair is excellent, it'll be time to wash her again. That's how, the, that's how this hair works. By the time I'm really loving her, You still make okay. Go on get you gonna get the y'all gonna get it anyway. I ain't talking to y'all no more about this decadence palette that y'all insisted that y'all need another one for. Cause you ain't got nothing else like decadence in your thing with them 17,000 other palettes you got. That's all I'm saying. Just you know, just wanted to throw that out there. But hey. Yes, it does. No, see, my hair is like this to begin with, and then it gets fluffy. I'm going to have to look up this damn decadence y'all talk about all the time. Like it's the way to the cross. Like it's the way to the cross. Lulu ain't got no money for it. I can tell you that now. If I if it's between that and melt, I'm buying melt. Sorry, not sorry. Let me go look this up. Let me go look this up. Pat McGrath decadence. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, do I have money for a firm right now? No, I do not. 
Y'all keep y'all be. I got other shit coming on. Remember, I got a grandchild. Let's stay focused. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Y'all do remember I got a grandchild coming, right? I gotta make some decisions. Let's not forget that. So Pat can wait. And if I don't get her, she'll be fine. Then Pat McGrath. Right. Pat. But I'm gonna look at this. Because if I'm not mistaken, it is extremely uh, boring. And that's why I never really wanted it. But okay, we're going to see what it is. I'm just going to look at Pat. Is it the Decadence palette? Is that what I'm looking for? Decadence. Decadence palette. Let me see this damn thing. I've seen it and I don't want it. Uh, February 7th. Okay. Is this the one? Let me make sure I ain't crazy. Let me let me look this up. Is it this one right here? Is it this one? Right here. Is it this one? Oh, this is bronze seduction. My bad. My bad. Okay, I saw it. Was bronze seduction. Okay, let me get to it. Okay, I see it's bronze seduction. Cause that was like girls know. Okay, okay, let me get back to this decadence palace. It's you know it's the way to the motherfucking cross. Okay. Which one is it? What number is it? What number is it? Mothership what? Mothership four. I gotta be honest. Hey Diana, hi Diana. Okay, let me see. Pat McGrath Mothership Four. Let me just write this in. Pat me. Uh, thank you. They'd be better when I they 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 do something else because I'm right now. Right now, mother ship. Okay, so let me see. Do I see this damn thing? How come I don't be seeing it? Hold on. Okay, I think I see it. I think I found it. Is this the one? I just want to make sure I ain't crazy. Is this the one? Hey, patience. So let me look. No, I'm good. Y'all know how I feel about a palette with just a bunch of damn shimmers in it. So no, I'm good. That's why I never wanted it. That's I'm okay. The colors are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. That blue and the steel is gorgeous. Beautiful, but I'm good. Nope. I don't care. I don't care. Here's the reason why I'm saying that is because I know me and I know who I am. I won't pick it up that often because it's shimmery and that's it. I just won't. I 
I just know me. It'll sit there and I'll be like, oh yeah, there's that Pat Brad thing. And for $125, it needs to be the way. It's the way to the cross for y'all, so I get it. Yeah, it makes sense. But meh, meh. I'm good. I'm good. Right. I'm just being honest. I'm good. <laughs> Fight me on it. Fight me on it. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> okay, so them little classic ones I ain't getting because they look cheap as hell. I'm sorry, I'm not getting them because they look too damn cheap to me. Pat was like, yo, throw these mother, throw those in this little plastic thing. Throw them in this little plastic thing. It's only $25. Just throw it in. I don't know. I mean, at least give some Pat McGrath aesthetic. Throw them in that little white plastic for the for the peasants. Give it to the peasants. Just throw it in there for the peasants. Give it to the peasants, darling. We don't care about that. Since they won't pay for the pets, we'll just throw them a bone. Give them that in a little cheap Barbie plastic. Right, right. Oh, Marie Antoinette ass. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, Marie Antoinette ass bullshit. No, no, not, no, no. Yes, I keep hearing. Yes, I know her shimmer. Just need to experience her formulation and everything. But once again, it's $125. So I got to really want it in order for me to drop that coin. And just being, that's just the honest truth. <laughs> that's just the honest truth. I got to, you know, I got to go, oh shit, yeah, I want that. In order for me to drop that coin. Now, let me tell you this. She almost got me with the Midnight Sun and that quad that she had. But the quad is out because I wanted them together, right? So I was like... Well, since I can't get them both, I don't want them. I was like, because I, I, I mean, because that's why I buy a lot of Natasha Denona, because it's like, okay, I really got them. Um, see that I want it. Okay, but they ain't that cheap. Let me just be, let's just be honest. They're not that cheap. And, um... I have to see, feel like when I see it, I'm at this point now, and that's what I'm saying. I'm at this point where when I see something, it really has to grab my attention and be like, yes, I want it. Like the melt ones, the, this, you know, I'm like, do I really want that? Hmm. Nah, I'm good. You know, that's what I'm saying. It has to, you know, for me to want to spend the money on it, and don't get me wrong, I don't have any problem with spending $125 on some shadows. I really don't. But it just has to be something that I'm like, yes, I want it. I'm like looking at it like, yeah, you really want that. Um, and, and if I don't feel like that, I'm not going to spend it. So no matter what everybody says about the formulation, hey, Kim, no matter, I don't care, I don't care if it's, if, you know, it's, it rains down, you know, Shimmer love, shimmer heaven. It rains down from shimmer heaven. Until I look at something from her and really am compelled to say, "Hey, I really want that." I'm not gonna spend the money just to try her out. I'm just not. I don't have that kind of money just to try something out that I might like or I might not. And that's just the honest truth about it. When I look at her palace, they don't move me to the point to say, "Yeah, I'm gonna drop that coin like that." And, and until I feel that way, I'm just not going to drop that coin. I mean, I, yeah, I can affirm it. I can pay it every month, but I'm still dropping that kind of coin on something that I could have allocated someplace else in my beauty budget than something that I'm not sure about. 
Um, we're going to see smaller pellets, but, you know, like I said, yeah, and, and that's where I'm looking at it now, Rebecca. It's like, I'm like, um, because I was that, you know, I I do have that, those moments where I'm like, oh, yes, but it still has to be something that I feel compelled that I just really want. You know, like when I was in the blue-green phase, hey, blue-green, ooh, yes, and even then I slowed down. I was like, okay, now, nah, you don't need that, you don't need that, you don't need that, you don't need that. I got enough. Not... Now, there will be some that, like the Juicy Olive, will call my name and say, bitch, you know you want me. But right now, nothing she has put out has, even the La Vie and Rose, and we know I'm a pink person. We know that I love pink. Pink is my thing. We know pink stacks up in my life. I've looked at it and I'm like, now, I do know that pictures sometimes are not the best, but it still wasn't like, Venus XL. When I saw Venus XL, I was like, oh, I want that. I want that. No, it ain't dry. Mm -mm, you know my hair dry, Kim. Come on now. You know it takes like 17 days for my hair dry. Um, that's why I, hopefully it'll dry today. Um, yeah, and that, that was limited edition. Um, yeah, because I, I was like, if you're going to call it La Vie and Rose and you're Pat McGrath, her, her palettes look very similar to me. You know, there's this running thing of this brown, black kind of vibe in so many of them. She has this thing, and I get it, you know, like bronze seduction makes sense to me. Looks really like it should. It, the kaleidos is very similar to that, that. But when you look at them, if you stack them together, you know, you look at them and you're like, well, they kind of kind of look sim you know there's some similarities running through them and yes i know there's some you know distinctions in the colors but from a person who's just looking at her stuff i'm like well she kind of doing the similar color tones like if you're gonna do a la vie and rose i wanted to see pinks and roses for me you know like like the vintage rose palette from give me glow that was a really pretty rose palette I expect more from her based on who she is. I'm being real with y'all. She just, it seems kind of lazy the way she's doing these palettes now. Yes, her formulation is wonderful and everything, but they kind of look lazy from a design standpoint because they're now starting to all look alike to me. And I don't know, I guess y'all know, y'all know better than me because y'all have them. Um, y'all have them, but they're just... Cause like that Levine and Rose was like, she just threw some pink, a couple of pinks in there and basically her brownie colored part stuff. And it was like, yeah, okay. I'm just being honest. And I know because, you know, I don't have her stuff and then maybe if I finally get it, I'll be like, oh my God, the Pat McGrath formula is the best ever. Hi, Tracy. But, it, but it's just looking at him. I'm like, it's kind of lazy looking to me. It's kind of lazy. Right. I mean, like, right. I mean, she's going to sell because she's Pat McGrath and everybody's going to buy them because she's Pat McGrath. But I'm not, I'm not there. there I'm not there and I'm not going to get there because I am no longer, I've gotten out of that habit of feeling, um, I know she's going to melt down. I'm not going to buy things based on, oh, it's really hot. Oh, it's really trendy. Oh, I need to finish up a collection. I'm out of that now. I'm, I'm really out of it because I'm like, yeah, okay, well, they going to keep coming with this shit. Now, what I would love to see is Give Me Glow to come out with a beautiful blue palette now that they've done the Juicy Olive. That would be interesting. That would be interesting to me. I'm like, yes, that's what I want to see. Yes, that one. And here's the thing with that. I won't even take away um, with from her um, price point because she is Pat McGrath and she is an icon. Um, and that's cool, right? I'm cool with that. I get it, but I'm not going to spend that money because I know I got 200 pallets back here. So I know $125 pallet ain't going to get that much get that much use with the 200 that over 200 pallets I have back here. 
just it's just not because I'm I'm ficky. I'm fin you know, I'm fickle like that. So I might love Pat for a little while and it might lay really good, but I know I got some other shit that could lay. See, I you get I get compliments all the time. Let's just be honest. Hey, Coco, I know you get compliments no matter what palette you use. Right, right. You know, I know you look I know you look pretty and you and get compliments no matter what palette you use. So, and it's okay to like it. I'm just saying for me personally, I ain't got no problem with people buying her. I think it's, um, hey, she is who she is and she does. And, and listen, as a black woman, I'm glad she getting that coin like that. I'm glad because Natasha didn't know who the fuck is she to, to be charging us $129 to. Um, you know, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to tell me that people, only time you get people to drool is when you wear PMG. Come on, y'all. Because if that's the case, you might as well stop buying all that stuff. Then you should vote. Then if, if that's the case, then I would be buying PMG. Right, two thirty nine for the big days. So who is Natasha Denona to to command this price? So I'm um, you know I am good. Fenty, okay. Fenty, let's just be real. Let's just let's just call this shit a spade a spade. The only thing that Fenty has done really well is their foundations, and you know their their highlighters are nice and everything. But really, what they have really done really well is their foundations. They have some nice um. <laughs> okay see there we go um <clears throat> you know so and but like their palettes their eyeshadow palettes were terrible you know no i don't know they they're okay with the face products you know but when it comes the bronzer everything people love that i still haven't got it. i need to get that um but when it comes down to the eyeshadows and stuff they have never done a good job with that you know, they just never have. Um, <clears throat> and you can tell that they have them because the shit is still around and on clearance. You know, but, you know, that, that's just, just being honest. Let's just be honest about it. That Rian, that Fenty did something good, you know, cool. But the, like the rest of that stuff, I mean, because everybody be talking about her liquid lipsticks. It's a liquid lipstick, y'all. And you know how I feel. And you know how I feel about her her, her little cheap-ass tube lipsticks. Them cheap-ass, plastic-ass, no, no, no. No, no, ma'am, we not buying that mess. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, they, um, right, um, Okay, gloss is fine, but let me tell you something. I'm cheap like that. Um, honestly, um, Milani dupes Fenty gloss all the um, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Hey, Danny. So I mean, real, really, Fenty did the foundation. They came out like that with a bam, um, but that's it. Other than you know, and and her, the highlighters and everything are nice. Don't I think they're really pretty? Are they groundbreaking? Of course not, because they're highlighters. You know, whatever. The glosses, Milani makes glosses just like them right now, so I'm good. I'm trying to find my Milani glosses. I got I got shit all over the place. Okay, I need to straighten up some things. Um, and, and not to say that they're bad or anything, they're glosses. So, and, that, and that's cool. Um, but mm -mm. no, no, no. The rest of Fenty is like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. We don't need, okay. Thanks a lot for showing us that. We'll go, go away now. Go away now. We do not need Fenty anymore. And not, and not to say that because like I think the, um I think that Fenty should just do what they do well and just really flesh out some of these things instead of, and I kind of like her for the fact that they're not throwing out a lot of products all the time but they can start coming out with blushes I could say I, I would like some blushes y'all 
I would like Fenty to come out with blushes because, you know, hey, the bronzes are nice. The highlighters are nice. They need to flesh out the complexion side of it, you know, and just stay where you are because the eyeshadows and stuff is like, man, whatever. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Right. Right. Bronzer shades and some blush. Now, and PMG, you know, well, you know, the fiasco after she did the, um, but you know what? Do we really think of P PMG with blush? Do we really? I mean, think about it. Do a nice, because listen, Rihanna's thing is she could do some, some pretty little cream blushes, like the liquid kind of glossier kind of vibe. Those will work well for her brand, you know. Hi, Lisa. Oh, we got it. Thank you. I meant to inbox you. Thank you. Thank you. She's going to come on and say thank you to everybody. Um, Yeah, she would do cream blushes. But let's think about what Pat will charge for a cream blush. Are you really going to pay that much for them? Because a Pat cream blush is going to be about $45. I'm not paying that much. I'm not paying that much. That's what that's what has been keeping me for keeping me sane because I really love the Sicily La Orchidee blush, but that price and I was like, this motherfuckers is insane. They are insane. No, thank you. I don't need none of you. I don't need none of you. Stay away from me. <laughs> Stay away from me. She's got to come out with concealers. She's got to come out with concealers. And she would be on point if she came out with bronzers. I'm going to say something ignorant, but I'll leave it alone. But anyway. <laughs> now, one thing that I am still wants is the Lip Bars Bronzer Blush Duos. I want those. I've been still wanting those. So I still have got to get at least one or two of those because I think those are so cute. I think those are so cute. And you see they're doing their face system. I don't know about that though. But I do like that from them. I do like that. I wanted the minted blushes, but then I remembered I don't like minted, so I didn't buy them. You know, I still got, I still got, they're still on my list. Beauty Bakery is trying to come off now that I have the, the blusher, the blush palette from uh, Karen, but mint is still on my list. I don't fucks with the mint. Treat me like I'm a second class citizen. Crazy. Okay, see, that makes sense. Just like, you know what we were talking about, Danny, you don't get those. That's good. The whole hype with the buxom blushes. We know I love, I'm a buxom gloss girl. But the buxom, um, what did Minted do? Oh, you know, oh, that was before you was on my channel. I have a whole rant about Minted. <laughs> Minted was, Minted was, um, was one of my first rants. That was way before Beauty Bakery. Okay, so here's what happened. Okay, so um, so what happened with Minted is I went to their pop-up shop here. I went to their pop-up shop here in Chicago. I heard I had been looking at Minted, looking at Minted, and they had a pop-up shop here in Chicago. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna go to this pop-up shop. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go and get me some Minted. And uh, that was when I was still working at the elevator company. And so, you know, I was a little cash. I was looking, I ain't gonna lie, I was tired. I was like not in the mood, but I was like, I'm gonna, so I took an Uber up there to go to this damn thing, right? So I go up there and I'm cool, you know, I'm looking a little crazy, but you know, and I was, I was not honey golden. I was not honey Lou. I was, hey baby Bob, I was, you know, I was almost, I was almost at winter Lou. I was almost at winter blue. So I was a little pale. So I get in there 
And I am in there with a purpose, you know? So I'm, you know, trying. They All I got was a hello. Hi, how are you? Now, all of the, the owners were there. The owners were there. And I saw them because I'm, you know, I haven't seen the videos. I know these are the owners. Now, you're here at this event and like I'm in there and I'm like swatching and, you know, okay, I want this. I want this. They never really talked to me. At one point, I'm still buying stuff. Now, mind you, she was the one, one of the owners was the one who was getting my, my order together. I'm still trying to bash it. She saw some girls, young girls come in, young, you know, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, fashionable, you know, deeper complexions. And she stopped speaking to me and went over to them. And I had to get to her, like, excuse me, I will like, now, I done bought, like, I bought, I've gotten rid of all of them. I bought three, two or three glosses, four or five lipsticks. I bought all of their nail polishes. These chicks didn't buy shit. But she was sly, you know, and, and I'm looking around. I'm like, well, I'm pretty much the only person uh, that they ain't really talking to. And I'm spending more money than everybody. I mean, we was buying, like, two lipsticks. I got, I got shit, you know, hygiene and it was like, so I was finally like, can, you know, can I get, I had to flag them down to get checked out. Now you are here in Chicago at your, at your pop-up store. I am spending a whole lot of money with y'all. I bought like four lipsticks, two or three glosses, all of their lip. And I can't even get service. Half a bag. You will never get another down from me. And I felt, honestly, I'm just being real. I felt the colorism at that moment. You know, I felt it. Because, you know, looking around, I was. Let's just be honest. Right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, I ain't get my money no more. We really do. We we really do. And it was it was kind of it, it was kind of interesting because I'm like I, I Right. So I was like, oh okay. And it was like when I really just started my channel. So I really wanted min the minted stuff. I still get views on it. You know, I really wanted to try it out because I had been hearing about it and I wanted um, to, you know, be on the minted train. I wanted to, you know, see their stuff and, you know, do a video on their stuff and talk about, you know, I was on the minted train. I jumped off real quick, though. I said, oh, I guess I'm not minted enough. I mean, let's just be honest. The I, I get their premise, but it's like, I mean, they didn't do anything. Their lipsticks are okay. They ain't that great. I mean, I hope their mats are better. But I mean, you know. Yep. Girl, you ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss a thing. I don't have any of them anymore. I think I gave, B has a couple of them. Somebody else. Right, right. I'm not pig right, I'm not pigmented enough. So yeah. Well, no, that's what it means. That minted is for pigmented. Um, so to them I was not pig I, it was clear I was not pigmented enough. And now here was the interesting thing though. They were talking to the white women. Because it was up in Wicker Park. So it was, and here was the here was the other part about it that was very interesting to me. That, and I get maybe they don't um, um, the it wasn't even in our neighborhood, right? You would have thought that since they were coming to do something like this, a pop up shop, and they are. Right. See, you know, see, Karen understands where I'm talking about. They did it in Wicker Park. 
instead of like high park where you're going right so why won't you you know you they weren't right that's the white fancy neighborhood why so you i don't i don't know what demographic they were going for because it wasn't because I had to go out of my way to go to that motherfucker. And that was the other thing. It wasn't nowhere near me. I'm on the south side. We're on the south side. The majority, sisters are oh, sisters on the south side. Sisters are on the south side. So, you know, I had, you know, but I think they were going for the hipster crowd. You know, I guess they were looking for a hipster and they were thinking, oh, this is, you know, but really, you know, I, just, I don't know. I just would have done it someplace else. I would have gone to Bronzeville or Hyde Park, you know. Exactly. Exactly. I was right in that in between spot ash that they didn't want to. Talk. Right. Yeah, it's hipsters. So, and I think maybe they thought they were going to get a lot of um, walking traffic. Here was the other thing. I think that they thought they were going to get a lot of walking traffic, but where they had it at wasn't a lot of walking traffic. Of course, because you don't know the, you don't know the city. So, Karen, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think it was like on Damon Avenue and it was north of North Avenue, but it wasn't by Armitage. It was like in that little pocket. So it's like stuff over there, but it's not like people walk, you know, like this is like an area um, like where people are going to be walking a lot because the majority of traffic, walking traffic is south of there. Um, right. They weren't on Milwaukee Avenue. They were like off on Damon or something like that. So it wasn't even a good spot for walk, you know, walk-in traffic. If they had came, if they had came to the south side and gotten a little spot on 53rd, right in Hyde Park, they would have gotten walk-in traffic and and actually promoted it. You know, if they had put themselves at Hyde Park, 53rd University of Chicago, they would have gotten all that type of traffic they got and. Um, and gotten, you know, gotten actually with their demo, their demographic. Because see, here's what they should have done. They should have had like a little pop-up shop because I just happened to see it. They should have had some kind of pop-up shop kind of vibe. Right. Well, you know, they get they got a little traction, you know, because they've been in essence. Jackie Ina talked about them and things like that. So they've gotten a little traction. So they, I guess they're doing fine. But that just wasn't, you know, luckily they did get that traction. Because at that point, I was like, hmm, okay. Okay. And right there, their lipsticks are okay. Their glosses are all right to me. I, I got a lot of gloss. So I'm like, they I. Right. I mean, but they're not a bad price. You know, the pricing is okay, things like that. So they didn't, they haven't overpriced themselves or anything like that. You know, they like that mid range, and that's fine. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I heard the bronzes are really dark, but that's like crime beauty bronzes. They kind of dark for me, but I still make that bitch work. <laughs> right. So yeah. Now, uh. Well, they ain't never comment on mine. They never commented on mine. And I've got thousands of views on that bit. So they they never reached out. They've never said anything. And I'm sure they saw it because it was really uh TTYL Kim. Right? And I'm sure they saw it because this is when they were really, you know, that was in 2017. So they were, you know, kind of small at that point. You know, they didn't, they were, they weren't even getting all that. So, you know, they saw it. Are they? I don't see it, but okay. So, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, they ain't never said nothing to me. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and, and I was like, okay. Yeah, it could have been, yeah, to, you know, because I would have came back on and said, you know, they reached out to me and, you know, we had a conversation and, you know, whatever, whatever. If they, mm -mm, they ain't nothing under me. Uh -uh. Not at all. Not at all. Not, to, and maybe because I was such a small YouTuber at the time. Well, I don't know. I guess, whatever. Because I was real tiny at the time. I think I might have had 100 subscribers, maybe 100. 
Yeah, maybe 100 subscribers at that point. So maybe when they saw my video, I was so small and the views were so small. They was like, ah, fuck that hoe. It might be like, ah, fuck that hoe. Eh, we don't care. And so, and that might, and that could have been true because you know at that point I was very tiny, very tiny. I was barely getting views. You know, you you know, hell, I I still obsessed about views. I gotta stop doing that too. This something's wrong with my eye. Hi, that's so Alice. You know, um, I would you know. So maybe they just like nah. Well, when, when, so what she said something about us. We don't care. She nobody. Is this the one I'm wearing? Oh, is this the too big one? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try to pineapple this shit up some. But it's not. Oh, here's the thing. I want to take a nap. Because I have my cousin coming over. I got to do her makeup at two. So I need to take a little nappy nap. You are you about to miss it because I'm about to get off. I got to take a little nappy nap before my cousin gets here. So now I got to sleep like a, you know, I got to do the black girl sleep on my stomach. She's not here. Um, No, it's the lights. This happens every once in a while with the lights. So no, it's not her. It's the lights in here. Every once in a while I have issues with the lights and they just start irritating my eyes. I don't know. It happens every once in a while. I have no allergies um to pets. I'm really lucky on that. Yeah, but I gotta take me a nap so I can do that, and I gotta do a few things. Um, thank y'all for hanging out. So, oh, I, I'll let me get the thing out. And I'm gonna do the this hair thing has messed up my whole plan for this week. So I gotta figure out something for tomorrow because I was gonna be doing something else, but I can't because of my hair. You know, you can't do glam when you looking like a five-year-old. You cannot do glam when your hair looks like a five-year-old. For everybody who was here last night, y'all have no idea how tipsy I was when I got off of here. Do y'all know how tipsy I was? I was very tipsy. I just have to throw that out there. I was holding it together. Yes, I got my Gigi shirt on. <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> I was real tipsy. I woke up with spicy nachos in my bed with me. <laughs> spicy nacho Doritos in my bed with me. I woke up like clearly you was drunk. Because why are there spicy? Where's the bed? Why is there? Yeah, that bear, yeah, my marinated. Yeah, that baby has been marinating. <laughs> and I just had a bag of so apparently I was eating drunk. <laughs> Shit. I need to baby because what was I saying there was, was something I kept saying last night <laughs> honey first off let me tell you Coco the damn things was strong to begin with and that's been you know that alcohol been sitting together and melding together for two weeks now baby the next time i have it yeah there was something i kept saying over and over again hair stew there we go hair stew <laughs> that's it it was like what the hell am i saying <laughs> all right y'all let me get off of here and take this nap and plus i'm tired I, I, you know, remember, I still get up early on Sundays and Saturdays. I don't get to sleep in because B has to be at work. So I get up at 6 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. So my weekends are not about sleeping in. That's why I take so many damn night naps. And normal people can sleep till 7 or 8. No, Louise is just coming. I'm, I'm coming back home at 7, 7.30. That's my life. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Have a good day. Yes, yeah, she is working on to her due date or to otherwise. Bye-bye.